All right, welcome back. Our next topic is the different categories for our plant assets. And it kind of helps in this one. Remember one, uh, one name for plant assets was uh, PP and E, right? Well, that tells you three out of the four categories that we're gonna have, right? Property, also called land. The, the other P was for plant, which is for buildings. Equipment. And then lastly, land improvements. Those are our four categories for plant assets, which might be why, if you noticed in an example we did in a previous video for Lucy Company, this one right here, she purchased a new heat press machine, right? But the account that I debited was equipment not heat press machine, not machinery, just equipment. Why? Because I knew that these are the only four categories we have. We don't have one called machine or heat press or anything like that. So when you are purchasing a new plant asset, it's going to be debited to one of these four accounts. All right. So I think they're pretty self-explanatory, maybe except for the last one, right? The first one you would include uh, a debit to land for any property that you purchase, and of course, all costs related to acquiring it. Um, your plant or buildings would get debited to your buildings account. Equipment is kind of the catch-all. That one is a really big account. Um, obviously, it's equipment, it's machines, it can be furniture, it can be computers, it can be vehicles, right? So it's really anything that isn't one of the other three categories will pretty much fall into equipment. All right, and the one that we haven't seen before is this land improvements. So these are improvements that we make upon the land, okay? Examples would be parking lots, parking lots, um, irrigation systems, fencing, uh, landscaping, lighting, right? Any improvement you make upon the land, okay? So the reason we have to separate land improvements from land is because the last three categories we will be recording a depreciation for, meaning we understand that these items will deteriorate over time. We do not depreciate land, okay? Because we say that it doesn't deteriorate over time. It doesn't ever use its usefulness. It's not like, oh, got to go buy new land. You know, this existing acre, just not good anymore. No, you, the things upon the land, the buildings, right? The improvements, those might wear out, but the land itself does not wear out. Therefore, we do not depreciate it. Okay. So in this video, I just want you to know the four categories of plant assets and that we depreciate the last three. And we'll talk about how to calculate depreciation in the next video.